It's during the summer months that the sun is at its highest angle in the sky, which means lots of direct sun rays for us. There are more people diagnosed with skin cancer each year in the United States than any other cancers combined. This is why sunscreen is so important. So depending on what type of sunscreen, the sunscreen either reflects the sun's rays off your skin or absorbs them. The idea here is to keep the UVA and UVB rays from getting to your skin because we know those rays cause skin cancer and wrinkles. Inorganic chemicals with minerals like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide act as a physical sunblock. The chemicals reflect UV rays similar to how white light or bright colors reflect light. You may recall back in the 80s and 90s, beachgoers with white colored noses, which wasn't the most attractive remedy, now manufacturers make inorganic particles much smaller so you don't see the blocker. For a long time, darker skinned people thought they didn't have to worry about sun, sun exposure, but we know that's not true. Dark skinned people are vulnerable to sun exposure and can get skin cancer. So regardless of your complexion, we all need it. So how about the SPF number? Well, Dr. Reddy says it depends on your skin sensitivity. The more sensitive, the higher the SPF. But you don't have to go too high. A few years ago, they stopped selling like the hundreds and eighties because there was actually just very little benefit at those higher numbers compared to like a 30 or a 50. And you were paying a lot more for that and not getting much more. Dr. Reddy suggests applying sunscreen every two hours. And if the bottle says waterproof, don't trust it. There aren't many lotions out there that resist water. So if you're gonna be spending time out there in the sun this summer, lather up, folks. Could save your life.